Hi everybody, today's episode I want to do something a little bit different. Uh, this is kind of a drill I used to do with the kids a lot. It's kind of a fun drill, it kind of breaks away from the normal routine and especially like over summer times, so if you've got children's classes, sometimes summer's a good time to experiment and there's a lot of games you can do with them that can teach them valuable skills and lessons and they're having fun at the same time. So I would just like to share one that I do on occasion. The kids love it, it's a lot of fun and it really kind of pushes their boundaries a little bit. It's called the ninja game. I call it the ninja game and it's no disrespect to ninjutsu or anything like that but it is a game of stealth and infiltration and the kids really get into it. So the main objective of the game is quite simple. Basically, you know, we take all the wave masters, we take the, the wrestling mats, we take whatever we have in school, the pads, and we make almost a structure out of it. It could be, a, we call it the castle or whatever you want it to be. You make a structure, you make an obstacle course out of it. And this is basically the temple. And you put some sort of treasure in the middle of the temple for them. In our case, we had like dodgeballs, so they were like beach balls, whatever, they're spotted. So we're like, oh, we're gonna call this the dragon egg. Whatever you want, it, it, it doesn't really matter. Basically have some sort of ob objective that one student who's the main player is gonna try to retrieve. Now. You set this obstacle course, and you then what you do is you take a bunch of other students, maybe five, six, seven, even eight, and you put blindfolds on them, or get those like sleep masks, something where they can't see. And you position them around the room, basically they're guards of the temple. And you can give them something like a fuzzy sword, or if you've got some of these blocking pads, or even something as simple as a pool noodle that you can cut up. These are like imaginary swords. So you arm them with these, and the whole objective is, the game takes place at night. So whoever the ninja is or the infiltrator is, their objective is to climb the obstacles, walk around the obstacles, get inside the temple, retrieve the artifact, and leave without getting caught. And basically, if they make any noise, you know, the guards are gonna know where they are. And it's funny, when you see kids blindfolded, they're like this and they're listening. And any sound they hear, they start swinging around at it. It's, it's pretty fun. But what's the big deal? How hard is it, you say? Well, the trick is the kid who's the infiltrator has to wear a bell around their wrists. So they have to move in a way very softly, step softly, especially if they're gonna climb, they gotta be careful not to ring that bell. Because I tell you right now, you hear that one ding, 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 and you see the whole room start swinging around. It's, it's actually pretty humorous to watch it. And you can even take it up a few notches. Like uh, at the time, we had different floor mats. You know, we got red and black here. At one point, they were blue and black. So the black areas were the actual ground, the interior of the castle. So we built our frame around it. The blue areas were water. So we made it a rule of if the ninja was going to go into the water, they had to crawl like they were swimming. And we would put even like kicking shields around that could be like leap stones. So they risked going around that way by jumping and crawling. They had to not make noise. And the rules were simple. If they got tapped by a sword, they were out, they were caught. Now, if you have a large class, you don't necessarily want 20 kids out there with these things swinging it around. Or if you want to have four or six, whatever it is, you can still engage the rest of the class, put them around the edge, and they're like the wind. Or they can make owl sounds, they can scrape the floor. They can make ambient noise that might make it harder to pinpoint where the one kid is. So we did this a few times for the past couple years over the summer. We had like, during the summer camp, there was, we kind of combined two classes into one. So we had like an hour and a half to two hours to do this game. And they had an absolute blast with it. And you see them really trying to work on their technique. And you really try to see them listening. So it's kind of funny when you take away a kid's eyesight, how, how alert they get. They're really trying hard. And you would run through it a couple times. So only a few kids actually made it because when they got panicked, they would run. And what happens when they run? That bell will go ding, 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 ding. And of course, the swords would swing around. They'd get tagged out. And it was next kid's turn. So this was just a fun drill I just wanted to share with you. I had a lot of success with this with the kids. They got a great big deal of fun out of it. It's something different. They're learning some valuable skills out of it. And it's just something to throw in during the summer game. So if you guys want to try it, please give it a shot. And if you have any other games that you guys like to play or any creative drills with your kids, please share them below so that we can all give it a try. So thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, share this video, click on the icon, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.